Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace and today we have a Princess Connect video. It's a really nice one because we are finally here guys. All those months of hodling, all those months of saying save for Summer Kiaru. We are not quite there yet, but we are pretty damn close and it all starts with Summer Pekrin. We've got a massive content update very, very soon. So it does look like we did want to align the banners and the events with kind of the real life summers and like that. Let me pull it back a bit. And so let's summarize this video in essence. I'll be talking through each of these like different events i'll give you guys my thoughts i'll also briefly talk about the story event itself because like there is a little bit of a new change and i might run through pekrin or kokoro at the end so we'll see how much time we have all right with that being said let's start at the very top and so as you can see we have new events coming starting from the june 3rd and so what we are getting is we're getting pekrin so she is our first limited banner like i have said in the previous videos in pretty much like every other gacha video we are about to get bombarded by the limited characters this is the very very start of it and if you guys are into pekrin you guys go all in for her so all that means is that after june 22 pekrin is not going to be available anymore however they do get rerun like every year in addition to that after her banner ends she won't be added to the permanent pool so like if you want her you get her now if you're willing to wait a year then you go wait a year but i know some people who are really really into pekrin and you know i can't blame you guys like look at that all right after that we have the story event okay so this is a little bit of an interesting one and the reason why it's interesting is because it actually features three different difficulties. So what we do have now is the very hard boss. So I'm going to show you guys quickly through the story event. All right, guys, we are in the JP world and let's get into the story event itself. So it's this one over here. So again, guys, this is the event compendium. One day when we get this, we'll be able to farm a lot of shards, including the uh, summer cockroach shards. All right, guys, as you can see, the boss level is 25, 40 and 70. However, I do believe that this is the rerun version i think when it comes first it's going to be a little bit stronger so i'm just going to hop into the event map and show you guys what's up so we've got the normal let's start a normal and then we've got the exact same like 15 stages you guys already know what to do finish all that kill the normal boss which is going to be a squidward and then you see old mate squidward over here and we have five stages so this is it guys i have been telling you guys to hold on to those sarin shards hold off that sarin five because we are about to get her right here so as you can see we have three summer cockroach nodes which we can farm for her shards as well as two sarin nodes which is really really good so again guys i believe like the minor nodes like the ones with the two nodes they get about like 80 shards and then like the big nodes so like these guys they get about 100 shards all up so i'm counting like all of the endeavors all the shards that you get from rolling the boxes and all of that however as you can see we have a very hard mode there and essentially it is the same as hard mode all it is is it's a stronger variant of the hard boss so i do want to talk about him so let me kill this guy off but essentially like this guy should be like level 50 in the non-rerun version so let's just kill him off first and then let's go over to the very hard boss you guys can just have a quick preview of what this boss looks like it's exactly what it looks like right he's just He's just going to get smoked. All right. As you guys can see, the very hard boss is up and it's literally the same dude. Okay. So if I click into him, it's the same guy. However, do not be fooled because, you know, although he looks like he's level 70 and although I can probably one turn him here, it's not actually that easy. The funny thing about these very hard bosses is that when I first saw them on JP, I just smashed right over them, right? However, just having a look at some of the Billy Billy videos or some like CN content, it turns out that on the first run of like the event of these very hard bosses, it is actually quite hard. Most people, even the people at level cap, are only going to be able to two-turn this boss. And that is if you're using a team that's made up of like, let's say like Miyako, Jun, Kaori, Makoto, Yui. You can see it's not even all focused on damage, like we need some level of sustain. As always, taking some foresight from other servers does have its risks, like it may not be like that when we get it. But I'm telling you what I see, and what I saw was like, this squid is actually messing people up. Again, most people that are at level cap are probably going to be able to clear him, the level 90 version, at about two turns using a team of something like Miyako, Jun, Kaori, Makoto, and Yui. For the healer, some people opt for Chika, and a lot of people probably are not going to have Jun and Makoto. Try not to use archers because archers are just like way too frail, and he's going to mess everyone up. If you guys do find a way to make it work, like, you know, don't at me, just go and do it, and probably actually tell me about it. But to be honest, even if it takes you three turns to do this boss, it is still worth it. And the reason is because it actually costs the same amount of tickets to go into this boss as it does to go into the hard boss. However, this boss 
does give you extra rewards and so you should definitely do it. One of these rewards is actually a guaranteed shard for like the event unit. So in this case, it's Summer Kokoro. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that if you're going to do anything in this event, prioritize on killing this guy in about two to three turns and then like probably spend the rest of your tickets on the hard boss if required. But definitely make sure you get your very hard hit every single day. All right, guys, let's hop out of that and let's go back to the event page because there's actually a little bit more to cover. All right, guys, so I actually forgot to talk about Summer Kokoro who we are actually going to get after beating the boss five times at any difficulty level. So just take note of this because this is typically how you're going to get the welfare characters like any of them. Summer Kokoro is only the first of the welfare characters that we are getting, but like don't discount her. She is actually a really, really good unit. However, when we do get her, we are going to get her at one star level one. Ordinarily speaking, by just looking at the shards, it does look like we can only push her to like two stars and some people may luck sack into three. However, I do see a lot of people on the CN server saying like, oh, it was enough to actually get three stars. And so that's what we're going to get. In that case, it's really good because we're actually able to get her bond level up as well. And the reason is because bond levels share between the base characters. So what I'm saying is that the bond stats from the Kokoro summer variant is going to give stats to the Kokoro normal variant and then also vice versa. So you got the normal Kokoro giving stats to summer Kokoro. All right, with that being said, let's move on. And this is it. This is the Saren. We get 50 shards here and then we get 65 over here. It's only good things from here. You guys should be familiar with this. It's just rolling the boxes and that's it. Let's move on. All right, sorry guys. I know I said that's the last thing, but there's one more thing that I want to talk about before we move on. And that is that the Pekrim banner ends on June 22. Why this is important is that as you can see, it's about like 18 days long. And then so after Pekrim banner, we actually get Summer Suzume first. And then so realistically, we are still one month out from Summer Kyaru. I'm telling you guys, because that is the time that you have to save for her as well as the banner length. So one and a half months for Summer Kyaru. If you guys are feeling a little ballsy and want to go for Pekrim as well, like consider using one and a half months worth of stash. But otherwise, yeah, she is coming very, very soon as well as Summer Tamaki right after that. All right, let's move on game update news. So we have the new main quest, new main stories, and essentially a whole bunch of stuff that we already know that's going on. They have made a little mistake here where they're saying that we're going to get four slots at rank 10, but I don't believe that's true. Typically for ranks, we move in slots of three and five. So for rank 10, I believe we're only going to get three slots, which is summarized down here. I think this is the real one. So guys, don't worry about planning for 10-4. I mean, if we do get 10-4, that'd be pretty spicy because it does change things up for like clan battle. All right, I'm coming back up over here. And what else do we have? So we have area 13. I will just give you guys a quick look at what that looks like. All right, guys, area 13, you guys can already see we're going to be traversing the mountains, going into the ocean. And then, oh, what is this over here? Mm. To be honest, we're not getting this because if we are getting it, they would announce it. But really what this is to summarize it is A, it's kind of like a grotto and B, it gives you the materials that you need for unique equipment. That's kind of it to be honest. So I'm just going to go back. But yeah, like I said, guys, we're not going to be getting this guy anytime soon. I think unique equipment is still a couple of months out, like quite a lot of months out actually. So even if you're not farming the hard shards and stuff, you could literally start now and still probably be at five stars, like for like Kurumi, for Aoi, for Misaki by the time we get there. But yeah, otherwise like not much to talk about this map. It is the same, same. Like, let me have a look at the last boss. What's it look like? It's a freaking worm or something. All right, let's get into the hard mode, which is probably the more interesting thing to look at. So what do we got? We're looking for world 13. I think this, is this the Jita world? This might be the Jita world, which is really, really nice. This is the Jita world, which is really, really great because I still don't have Jita. On top of that, we have a third Cockro node and this is massive. Cockro five star is just like so freaking good. Like everybody should have her. I'm like actually almost there already. So this node is actually going to be a little bit useless to me, but for everyone else, I'm very happy for you. Like this is like three great nodes, to be honest. Yuki is great and her getting a second node just really, it's going to help speed up, like getting her to three star at least and potentially one day five stars. But yeah, Jita, that's awesome. I'm actually looking forward to that so much, but I'm really looking forward to the next one as well, which is Jun. One more month for that one, but I digress. Let's get back onto the event page and see what's next. So guys, the last thing I want to talk about is kind of like, you know, what are the pieces that we can expect from this map? Because last time these guys, the sun amulets, they took 30 a piece to make. And that was really, really annoying. So I guess like, let me kind of like give you guys a heads up on what's going to happen. So this is 13.1. Let's go have a look at the new pieces. That's still old stuff. However, we're going to be getting a new weapon at least. So this is one of the new ones that we're looking at. And obviously, as we push further, we're going to get more of the new weapons occupying more of the three spots. So as you can see, we have the angel staff here and we have the like the hellfire axe looking thing. But yeah, as you can see, it is essentially more and more weapons. I believe somebody in my last video asked for this. And so I hope I got you, bro. I hope I got you. But yeah, aside from that, there's actually not overly much. It's mainly the weapon because what happens is that the armor piece, so I'm talking about these guys, as well as the boot 
empties, they actually occupy the right hand side middle piece. So I'm going to keep going and there's actually nothing, there's nothing else that's new. It's just new weapons again for the top right hand side. All right, that is it for this one. So let me get back onto the event page. All right, so what else do we have? We also have the level cap increase from, that doesn't look right. Typically when we get level cap increases, it goes from 98 to 103. Like it goes in like multiples of five. So let's see. Oh, wow. Maybe I'm wrong this time. Maybe we do go up four levels. That's that's really bizarre. I guess it's kind of a good thing, but it is what it is. Like it just means that there's one level less stats. Otherwise, after our level up, what we do have is dungeon mana times two. Same as every other time we've had dungeon mana times two. I don't have to say too much about it. Just remember to start rigging your runs two days before and you'll be fine. After that, we've got grotto times two. Nothing we can do for that. And I think that's down to the end. I don't think there's much else to talk about. So let's have a quick look at the summary. So we've got summer Pekrin coming up and she is going to be limited and only available until the 22nd. I'll be covering both her and Kokoro in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. As for the story, we are getting this summer Kokoro variant. There will also be a very hard mode. Remember to clear it at least once a day, guys. And it is going to last for the same period as the Pekrin banner. After the summer Pekrin banner, we get summer Suzume. And then only after summer Suzume do we get summer Kiaru and then like more events. On top of that, we get the main area quest 13. It looks like we still are not getting the dungeons. So if we don't have the dungeon by now, I think we're going to be getting it next patch. So I'm talking dungeon extreme one, where we finally get five stages of dungeon instead of 10. Level cap increase. I still am a little bit fishy about that. Are you sure it's not 103? It's a bit weird. Character equipment cap up to 10.3. Actually, you know what? Maybe I need to make a video on 10.3 as well. Other than that, chapter seven up to episode eight. Dungeon drops two times, grotto two times. That's kind of it. And we are having a hard mode two times right now, which actually crept up on me because I totally forgot about it. It is good days to be honest right now. The last thing that I want to talk about is I guess the end date of this guy over here. So typically what's going to happen is that we're going to have our clan battle start almost immediately after like these kinds of events, these story events. So I would anticipate that clan battle, the next one, clan battle five is probably going to happen from the 23rd. So from today, we have about 24, 25 days. So start preparing guys. All right. I think that's kind of it. There's not too much else to talk about. So let's wrap up the video here. Guys, secret message summer is here. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. It lets me know that you've made it to the end of the video and I, I really do like that. Otherwise, you guys already know what to do. If this video has helped you or kind of like was entertaining, then consider a like, a sub, a comment. But otherwise, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.